welcome to another vlog. It's me Angelo Caruan and Pierre. Today we're doing some underground exploration. We're at Birzebuja and we are going to explore the Benaisa underground transmitting station. We have to thank MATS for giving us this is the second time for giving us permission with it Hadlingli uh, last time. It was very interesting. Today we are going to do this underground transmitting station. Now we are entering this underground transmitting station. As I told you, there's these nicely cut stairs in the rocks. And here there are some remainings of these railings, which uh, I think they were used to lower the engine parts from here. Now we have two options, one on the left and one on the right. There is a ventilation shaft here. Look. And now we will go to the right first and then I we will show you the other areas. We have the steps as well here. As you can see there are the ramps and the steps. The ramps maybe they used they were used to lower the engine parts and the steps obviously to be used by the workers here. Where we are here? This is the X uh, air condition room. There are some. Look. Uh -huh. What are these? Maybe. These are. Uh, oh, think, filters ducts, or. Ducts? ducts, I think. So they can supply different places. Alright. Okay. It's nice, huh? Really nice. Uh, this is the, the air conditions. Uh, uh -huh. the, the motor. And the motor from there. there they can get the plenty of flows. But there is the duct here. Goes another level up there. Uh -huh. There is a ladder as well, seems that here. Yes. But it's hot, or maybe it was. Be careful where you step. Because yes. there are some loose parts, Look, uh, so we don't get. You know what's that? What? That's an armature motor, oh, and, uh, mm, I think it, it was vandalized yes, or dismantled. Look, uh, look. So for they copper, look unfortunately. For copper, yeah. What a pity, yeah. Mm. Alright, there's another armature motor over there. I'm going to drop the stick. Yes. Even Rust is it's doing its job. Yes, it's true. So. Yeah, because here it was uh, finished in 1940s, right? Yes, it, it was uh, up started operating in 1940s, pre World War II. Look there, there's uh, what is uh, extra? This is recent, yeah, but. Uh, then, uh, mm -hmm. trans transmitting cooling. It's cooling, or other so. Yes, in fact, it, it is the exhaust condition area, mm. which used to supply fresh air mm. across this building. It's coming, or isolator. It's a switchboard, this one. Yes. Impressive, eh? Mm. And even impressive how they, they lower these parts here and uh, they were assembled here. You cannot... That's always our big question. Yes. Uh, Everywhere we go. Because it's underground, so you cannot... From the exhaust condition room, where we are going? No, we are going. There, there is an... Uh, an have a look, first have a look at this uh, ducting, ducting oh. which is uh, very rusty. Yes. And now there is on the right, there What's is an, an exit, room, exit escape Let's room. Let's have a look on uh, Some stairs. Some, some was set There are many where well, there were two sides, they will have uh, multiple exits in case yes, of booming. Uh, they can exit from not only one place. For safety, yeah, for yes. safety reasons. And you can feel some fresh air from here as well. Hey, uh, there, there's light there. Outside. Look, because we have been there. Yes, so. Are you noticing the difference in color, Pierre? Yes, yes. On the stairs? Maybe, Maybe. When it touches the wall. Hmm. Mm. 
And we were, we were talking to the employees of MATS who gave us permission. Um, it, seem, it seems that there are four stories underground here. It's incredible, eh? And it looks that we are going outside because here is very Yes, okay. even the, there are the sun, sunlight. And we have the sunlight. And here we get. Here we come. came next. To the main area. Yes. So let's continue. So we have, we have to go back here. Yes. And explore the other areas. The right. And this one. And here. there's the main transmission sta station uh, here. It's a big hole. Have a look. Yeah, yes, it's, it's like, uh, like a carpet. A look. Carpet, it seems. Uh, from there, you can bring hmm. it up so people can see her. From here. From here. Uh, it's plastic, what it is. Seems uh, like plastic, yeah. Maybe, Maybe for insula insulation it could or. Be insulation for vibrations, for electricity. It's and have a look at this. Uh, ducting wall. Du ducting here. Uh. Yes, Maybe. Uh, this chains used to be full of uh, full of nails, yeah. And yes. look here, how nice it is. Uh -huh. It's like, like wood. a balcony, yeah. Yeah, with wood. Uh, hmm. It's a very big open space. Yeah. There's nothing there. What, Pierre? It's not. Another stairs, okay. Even there, there is another area with stairs and goes up there. Take care of this last thing. Yes, this the railing. Yeah. The railing. Care, don't want any railing for anyone else. Yes, the, the stairs seems to be okay, Pierre. Yeah, the stairs very strong. But better if you step the inside of the stairs oh. next to the wall, just in case something. It's incredible about this handling. And look how many stories we are going up. How much we have gone up. May I remind you that this is not public, this place. We got permission from MADS. So no one is allowed here unless you get the necessary permits from MADS. Quite intact, the railing even. It's quite sturdy. And now we're up. I think it's ground floor here. Yeah. Yes. These are the masts of, uh, I think, uh, two of them are still in operation. Many of them are wooden mass, mm -hmm. and the others, for example, this one in front of us, that's uh, steel, I think. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Here, here we found the like the air conditioning stuff. Mm -hmm. There we moved here where there's the transmission area. This is the exit of the stairs where we are. We, where we are now. Where we are now. So, so we have then. to go back now. Look, and, uh, yes, there's like another exit here. We can yes, check it in out. fact, I saw it. There's a the, the one you the same there as well. And, and then, then for, we check this part, then we go inside this area here. So we make we check this area, this area. And yes. We continue. What do you think? We continue. Yes, we, so we can go. Let's go. And now we're back at this level. Look, this this opening. This is a feature even found in old homes, where to put some stuff for. Now we are going back to the transmitter transmitter's main room. Now here is the transmitter room. Mm -hmm. And here we have another uh, another exit. Oh. Yes, there's a uh, steel. Steel stair, our ladder, and we have to climb a bit. Uh -huh. Escape route, I think, this one. Let's check it out. 
That's Here, uh, we see this duct, you know, these brackets, yes. they used to put uh, for the on. For the lights, uh, there's another ventilation shaft, which is blocked. Another ventilation shaft? Yes, it's blocked and it's not that deep. Mm. It's nicely cut in rocks, uh, yeah. With a lot of humidity, yeah. Yes. Well, uh, like this one, uh, this rebound, mm -hmm. punch on the floor. How these beautiful these brackets, which are completely destroyed with rust. Rust and uh, iron does not go together because <laughs> it will destroy completely. There is another leather here, yeah. Mm -hmm. But this one? This one is not that safe. Eh? And where is it? I don't know. Uh, to the surface, this one it goes. Uh -huh. And there's a rope bar as well. Now we are going back down these stairs. These are all exits, just in case one exit gets blocked. So they will have multiple. I think there are three in total. Even the other one, transmutation has three. Yes, yes. Yeah, three ventilation Three ventilation shafts. Because escape rooms, but they can be used to get out as well. Now we are going down. Stepping on these may be a bit tricky, but there's only one meter, so we can trust this iron ladder. Give me the GoPro here. It's quite interesting, yeah, this area, the whole area, but this one. Now we are going to the generator room. These were diesel generators? Yes, um, these were diesel generators and uh, we can find, look, there are the bases here uh, and there are the ducting for cables around these bases. The ducting for our, we have uh, ventilation ducting everywhere. Mm -hmm. yeah, Even the, I don't know what they call it here, but so, um, the flooring, the the flooring yeah, tiles. Yes, they are wooden ties, in fact. Yes, mains isolation transmitters type M6, and they are all labeled. Have a look at the switch, Pierre. The, the switches are completely rusty. It's pretty, yeah, they want Yes, there are some, maybe. We can put M6 or TX. And we have some right here as well. Extraction, LP room, mm -hmm. LP room, shoot. Socket 1, socket 2. This for the face, most probably red, right yellow, blue. Yes, the, the amount of humidity here, it's quite impressive. Eh? Mm -hmm. Take care here, Pierre, because there's a, a bolt. Uh, not to step on it or and there it seems to be this one or uh, the main switch maybe yes it was the main switch area main so. switch area uh, uh, you see. all labeled low power area cop cop uh -huh. lptx mm. patch mm -hmm. and all all these i think connected to those transmitters are 13 mm -hmm. to 22 23 to 23, 25, mm. sorry, dummy load. So for sure there were 25 transmitters Yes, with good. these labels. Uh -huh. We can identify that for sure. And obviously mm. all this, as we say at Maltese, Bach, they are gone. And here, uh, there, there, is a, there is a switch which is still functioning. Pierre, uh, look. This was the space between the rock cut and the building of the Roman. Okay, that's interesting. Yes, this feature we, we saw it in, in various places, huh? as you said.
and now here we can reach an, an engine room let's go and explore it here yes. make sure not to step here because there's the ducting the humidity is impressive yes. everywhere even the doors yes. here are turn off it's all dismantled hey, well, yes make sure where to step because there are a lot of engine, engine room uh -huh. and uh, i think we have something behind a bubble sound yeah there's there's a uh, what they call it this one the we, in maltese we call it so fat but yes but in upstairs England. there's uh, either opposite or not ah because there's some Yes, there's a uh, steps. Huh? Mm -hmm. yes, Maybe the this is where the office is. Yes, sure. It's a workshop, this one. Yeah, okay. Keep the uh, door shut. A workshop? It's yes, easy. but we cannot shut the door for sure, okay. I think. Uh, it's not a small yes. And I was reading there was a, an area where the personnel, an accommodation area. Yeah, but someone find it. Look, I don't know. Repair it, Sarah. Repair it, sock it out there. Maybe we can charge our things here, don't you? Yes. Interesting, <laughs> oh. The UK one, eh? with, with I with the circuits. Yes. Draw. This one, this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's here. Yeah, it's I think you are the old one left, don't you? Yes. Where you are going in, or else? Yes, in fact, Same door. it was much easier from there, but we, we, did, we, yes. we took the hard way, as we like to do. It's a very good. Destroyed. Put it there, broken mm. there. E even, broke. even the, the, uh, Look, the glass. Man. Even Hello, the glass. This one? Hmm. For, for this an ampere the ampere meter. Sarah. Volt meter. Volt voltage. And uh, I I'm not an electrician or engineer, mm -hmm. but... Another ampere meter. This. Wow. And here, you have a clue. Where, where we are here, we have to check, huh? Yes, we need to check the map because I'm completely lost. Oh, this one when you see this stuff? Copper? Yes. There was copper? Copper cable, that's the sheet. Mm. And it uh, was dismantled? The, 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 the copper, yeah. And this area here is where we are now, where are the big switch gear. Here. Here we'll go around to the ramp where we were before. Yes. So still we have to go back and check up here. We that didn't, that letter, eh? we didn't do it, oh, and those stairs. there's here, here, and here. You have to check, and we'll have done all the area. So we go back to that area. Yes. What do you think? Grab the map. We go. Now we are going up. Seems to be okay. This one. So there are the restrooms here and the stores. Even the tiles are. This one was uh, the warrant officer in charge, Pierre. What, Anj? The warrant officer in charge. Yeah, the offices. Yes, there are the offices. Mm -hmm. uh, Have a look there, it's nice, eh? although it's, it's all, the, all broken. The, uh, yes. And very interesting, the, the partitions are all in wood, like we are doing now with uh, gypsum. It's the same concept. So, we're going back in time, I think. No, we are. Mela, this one is the restroom. So that's, that's a restroom? A big restroom? Yes, that's a restroom. I think the restroom was not the toilet, am I? No, no. It was like the, the a canteen or something. Uh -huh. uh, the medicine. 
It's not. Uh, I think they they refer it as WC, oh. the British. Yeah, yeah, see, that's true. There's a strom or or something. Here we are. This is a false floor actually here. Mm-hmm. Beneath us, and this was the store. This one, the store. Ah. Switch off. And the store with um, some security way. as well. Yes. Let's get inside. Have a look at, at the tiles here. Yeah? Yeah, oh, nice and in, in, in good cool. Oh, wow. they are still. And actually, if you consider how many years took at the paint of the wall. Next to these offices, and uh, this this area was operational from the 1940 till the 1979. So there were ab about uh, 40 years. 39 years. So, well, have a look even at this ceiling. And now we will go downstairs to reach the lower levels. Yes, I'm going down here as well. It's still in good condition, this, the, these stairs. So. Wow, it's quite big pier. There's a ventilation shaft as well. It's a feature found. Where the baby is? It's strong here, it's big. And all carved and rock, right? Mm -hmm. I think here there used to be a, a WC or some kind of... Uh, hmm. well, it seems, uh, so because there are tiles. Yes. On the wall. And here I think there are the generator base are and there's the pump the remainings of the pump the switches there's one here even though those brackets attached to the wall quite impressive and even here if you look there was the pump right here yes the pump room and here, this one was not there. There's the water. Seems there's the bomb. There's there are some water. Are bombs, you? Uh -huh. One, two, two. Huh? Uh -huh. and there's the pipes. Yes. To Maybe supply they water. For cooling, this one. Could yeah, be it, it could be. Uh -huh. uh, there's the switch here, and I think under us there's a well as well. Yes. Yeah. There's a, a hole there. There's there's some water. Mm. I think it's filled with water, not some water. Yes, it's full. The and switch is Sarah. On off, all wiring gets cut off. Yard number six one. Mm. This is um, fuses. Fuses. Mm. Oh, nice. The face. So it's neither the switch or the particular. Yeah. Mm. From here, that's on off. Mm -hmm. I never saw one like this. Even me. And now we're coming to the end of, of this vlog, Pierre, yeah, because yes. I think we explored all the areas. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So now we are heading back to the main entrance from where. Just for everybody, this is not open to the public. Right? Yes, it is, it is completely uh, yes. closed to the public, and no one can come here mm -hmm. unless they have yeah. permission from the Malta Traffic Services. And we thank their employees, especially Manuel Gauci, for giving us and be with us during this exploration. What did you find, Pierre? Even though, but it's not real, it's just not much. You can see her. I don't know what, what are these. You know? Have a look it's here, Pierre. Uh -huh. the, the pipes are all filled with water. Eh? You made yeah, it here. when I touch the going in the water yeah. pour on me. It's all covered in water. Mm -hmm. There's more storage here. Yeah. Uh, 
I don't know where's the the door, the clear pieces. I don't know what it was. It's dark in the room. Small room. A small ba a basin, I think. Uh, there. Full of humidity. That's the problem of these places. Mm -hmm. Humidity, yeah. That's Concentration good. of humidity. So. And from here. From here is from where we came in the first place. Yeah, the, uh, here there's another room. Let me. There's another room here. It's like a store with this. There yes, are but, some type of benches, huh? but there are I some. I think it was a workshop, this one. I think so. It's obvious it was a workshop. Because this wooden bench are. Mm -hmm. It's true. The switches are. There's another one switch like that uh -huh. one here. here. It's true. Using. Have work. a look at this mm -hmm. wooden. Yeah, They're oh, strong, yeah? Not like today. Yeah, mm. Even these iron beams are holding the, the ceiling. They are in good state. What's this beer? Maybe. Caroots some of these. Or you put money to save money. Yes, but there are some stuff inside it. <laughs> This small room, I think, or there's a stairs here. Yep, yep. There's stairs, it's underground as well. So maybe an exit, another exit. Maybe the, where there was that wooden. No, what? Stairs. Oh. There's, there's, a, there's light for sure there. No? There are some stairs down here, but we will check. This one first. Let's go outside. On the left. Yes, I don't see. It's a small room. Or there are some, there was some switches. Yeah, small room here. Yes. And this one seems, I cannot see from here, but seems there's another entrance from there. Maybe this one. Which was, small. was uh, I think it was blocked, uh, this yes, one. Yes. Because this is now oh, recent, wow. so there was another entrance from there. We always remind people if they come here not to destroy anything yeah, they find. There's some machinery as well, yeah. Okay. Let me put some light. Take care. Let me step in there. All right. Seems they were burnt out, Pierre. What? Huh? This one it seems to be burnt out. On per kilovolt. Yeah, look, Even the ceiling is. I don't know if it's like a store or, or no. Yeah. It's well fixed. No? Mm -hmm. Maybe it was used as a store later on. No, but these but are at least. These, these were fixed, huh? Yeah, there's a big generator here, transformer, sorry. There's a substation, this one. Okay. You see it? Yes. Mm-hmm. It's like a substation. And it goes in there uh, more. Uh, look, outside. look how, how big they are, the, the cables here, up here. No, no. They are like one inch. And if you go inside, there's more inside here. Yeah, no, more rooms. More rooms? Yes, that's the one. Okay. These are. They uh, cut the cables and they mm -hmm. use to strip them to steel and sell copper. It used to be in the past. I'm quite Something. impressive. We didn't see any bed here. Hey, I was telling you, I was going to tell you. Maybe the, the area is closed with uh, gates or something, so... 
this one you were saying there. Uh -huh. In uh, fact, it was it was closed. And this one, uh, yeah, because I was telling you to like a lift, Tara. Uh, but I mm -hmm. don't think so. It's a ram. To lower the goods, Tara, uh, from here. Yes, and to the, the outside. And here it goes. There goes this one. Just I think it's the same concept as we mentioned here. The walls, hmm. even the railings here are to lower the, the machinery. Yes. So I think this was a depart from where they used to lower the engine parts and other stuff. The site is quite bigger from the Dingle one here, uh -huh. which uh, the MATS gave us yes, exclusive uh, access to the area. And these cables unfortunately stripped to get the copper. Well, done all the area. We covered all the area, yes. We so all the area. we will so come to the end of this vlog. We'll the rest. Yes. This time uh, I don't think we're going to do the FTR thing because we don't have one. No, 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 I don't have FTR today. <laughs> Only water today. No cheese and no cream. I have a cereal bar. And I then, think and then cheese can the FTR should start sponsoring us. Yes, now. yes. And the, I, I am this perfect look. I am the perfect <laughs> sponsor for them. Huh? We, 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 we mention them a lot in our <laughs> vlogs, so... Especially me, because if someone, that I did, if we some, ended the FTA again, <laughs> So we're going back now Take to care, the main man. entrance from where we right. have entered. It's all ducting here for the cables. How do you transform because it's a, it's a, here it used a lot of power, right? Mm -hmm. Those old transmitters, 25 transmitters, it's quite a big number eh? to communicate to other countries. So they have, they had to, to have a, a good power to keep them running. And they were used during World War II, so they were quite busy during that time. And Malta ha have been heavily bombarded, especially the ports. And this one was one of the main ports during that time. And now we are back to fresh air and to high temperatures. And these are the entries from where this is the ramp the, yes this is the, the the other entry that we mentioned have a look the railings yes that is the first through that we that one yeah. and now we came to the end of another vlog from ben Ice underground transmitting station we have to thank a big thanks to dr engineer kenneth kirkop which is the ceo of uh, the owners of these premises, which are the Malta Traffic Services. We have to thank as well the uh, employees of the MATS. Yes. Today we have two. Um, very helpful as well. Very you. helpful. They, they stayed with us all the, throughout the exploration. It's quite impressive, this uh, place. Until the next one, bye-bye. Bye-bye.